what's up you guys welcome back to another video i wanted to spice it up a little bit change up the way i typically do my video and just kind of have my good friend jojo here and i thought it would be really great to ask jojo some questions he's one of my great guy friends and i'm gonna give you a minute to introduce yourself but i really wanted to chop it up ask some questions that we as women maybe think about and maybe we don't have that guy friend to ask these questions and we always have really raw discussions and i felt what better way to give a male's perspective give a female's perspective as well because i'm sure you have something to ask me right. and yeah so why don't you tell people who you are tell them how we know each other i'm the guy behind the camera <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically nah, that's a good way nah. to put it how the hell did we meet i think but... maybe it's from like your sister and like being from Jersey. Well, Bay well you're in Bayonne. I definitely knew like an Alexa and then you like separately and then I was like, oh my god, you guys are together. Like you're, you're like your brother and sister and I didn't know, but I think that's how it kind of transpired. But I have no idea. We just had, you had a that passion means, for photography. Created. Yeah, and that's then I had a passion for just like, you know, I saw, I being the girl in front of the camera and right. we just kind of chopped it up one day, did a shoot and from there, we have many I saw, more things. I saw what you were putting down and I was picking it up, so I was like, you know, you know I can fuck with her. She's cool, so let's create together. Look at look at us now. Look yeah, at us now. Exactly. And it was <laughs> it was really just organic. We just kind of built our relationship and uh, we both had a common passion to create content and we just came together and was like, let's let's do it. That's so that. I have some questions for JoJo on my handy dandy I'm phone. I'm scared, by the way. <laughs> And I'm like, like nah, I'm not I'm gonna keep it PG, but I'm gonna try to make it a little bit like I'm gonna just give the people what they wanna yeah. know. We're not even but like that. But just know these are my personal opinions on these answers and shit like that. I'm but I'm gonna try my best to represent for the dudes, whatever these questions are. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, let us have yeah. it, because we need to get a female's perspective. I don't want y'all to be like, yo, ask another dude in the comments. Like, <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> Next time you come here, you, you do this. I'm scared. I'm already sweating this big ass sweater. We actually have started a little pre-game a little bit early. We did a little spicy shoot. Where? I don't know where it is. Oh, it's gone. It's because gone. we drank it. It's just gone. We spontaneously had plans to do this video for YouTube. And then we just were like, you know what? Let's do a photo shoot. Yeah, that's my cup. A whole bikini bottom in her cup. And... It just happened. We we just did some spicy content, so stay oh, tuned thanks. for that. I don't forget that we just did a photo shoot. Yeah, because I know. Could you get me began me drunk? <laughs> Basically, we had a little spicy start out, so yeah. don't mind us. She lured me in. She told me what she was cooking, and I, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna do some cooking after this, but I figured let's do our YouTube video first because once we eat, we're gonna like, it's, it's over, it's done. I'm done. So I wanna get into the first question, and I guess like, I wouldn't say it's so deep, but it's a good way to start, I felt. So my first question for you is, can a guy say I love you and not mean it? That's a fact. Let us, let us know That's the truth. Fact. That's a fact. So you could say, because I know women are a lot more emotional. And for me personally, like, I don't care how good you are in bed. I'm not going to tell you I love you unless if I really love you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> tell you I love you unless if I really mean it but I feel like me as a woman who's a little bit more emotional that's just like how we are I say things just for fun or what's up damn that, that last one don't, 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 don't ask me like yeah, that <laughs> it sounded like, good with you like that <laughs> We're gonna say what we gotta say. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is it because you're trying to get uh, to a certain I mean, something? Or? I think for that, I can't speak for people that that um that say shit just to get somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's I feel true. like I never had to like get like that. You know? Yeah. Fuck it, wing it. Just Three to get point. there. Yeah, swinging a miss type shit. Nah. But you, but you do know that this has been said. Like I do say I love you. But like you said, you don't care how good it feels. Sometimes when you in it, that L word just pop out. <laughs> hey, I swear to God, I love you, girl. <laughs> we gonna hear it again after we done too. Hit you with a high five, GG. GG, baby. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean? You never hear me say that shit next day. <laughs> so that's a moment, so you pillow talking. That's a fact. That's okay. a fact. You call, me, you call me on some high shit. I mean, I pillow talk too, and I say shit, but it ain't definitely and I love you unless if I really love you. Shit. You, you <laughs> saying some shit like when you was cooking, or you about to cook? Shit, I fall in love with you, so I love you too much. <laughs> okay, that's a good answer. You got, 
Well, I kind of like gave you my perspective as well at the same time. Kind of told you like we don't. I, I we mean, I can't speak all for women because at the end of the day, not everybody is like me. Like I have homegirls that fact. you know do their own thing fact. and they dip, they operate different, and then I operate different myself. But I'm gonna give you my opinion. You you. <laughs> What? What? Spicy so, bro. <laughs> that's the next question, bro. <laughs> that I love you shit. Nah, I never use I love you shit. Just, but nah, I I, I got caught on some bullshit before saying it. And Mid. then not meaning it, or nah, I didn't mean it. I, when I said it, I was like, what the fuck did I just say? Oh shit! I was like, fuck, hold on. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, I that. So bro. it was more of a moment thing. That's moment. A, I, it, it was more like when I said it, I was like, damn, did she take? Did she hear it? <laughs> did she hear that? Okay. I hope she did it. <laughs> I put you in a pickle. <laughs> yeah, it does. It I put you in a situation now. Okay. I like that. That's question. a great way to start. That was a good question. That was yeah, a great that's a great question. way to start. My next question is a little bit more on you. Um, I'd like to know what's the worst date you've ever been on? Oh, I wasn't ready for that one. Have I been on dates? <laughs> more like pull ups. Um, <laughs> Late night pull ups. Dash on the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> worst date. Worst date. Fuck. It's okay because it can. I charge. don't know because I'm, I'm I'm really I'm really like that on dates. Like I'm really funny as shit and I'm I'm, I'm showing up for dates. So you never had a date that maybe you weren't the issue. I'm, I'm gonna feel was... like there was a like where I was I was showing out and she wasn't feeling it like type shit. Oh okay. You know what I mean? She wasn't picking up what I was putting down. Mm. But <laughs> so it didn't go as planned. No no I saw I saw score but it, <laughs> it, it was more like you know, that. it was more like I didn't have to do all that I didn't have to do it. Oh, <laughs> and okay, fact, she, okay. she was a. Uh, Pull up, DoorDash on the way. I was showing out. I was yeah, hitting her with the bells and whistles. And she didn't even need to hear it. And she didn't need to hear it. She she wasn't listening. She had me on mute. She had me on D and D boy. And that I thought that was the worst. That was a bad sixty seven bucks or some shit. Like it was a bad date. Well, I Good. mean, at the end of the day, at least you still. <laughs> Yo, we did the same <laughs> shit. Give me that. Yeah, we need shit. Oh my GG, god, we baby. got that. Straight W's on this side. You know my body. Oh my god, mm. I feel like sometimes I'm like, I'm like, I'm like the, a guy's best friend at the same time. I'm a guy's best friend. I'm gonna friend. save 67 bucks. I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. All right, so your worst day ever wasn't really a worst day, but I would say it was more like, um, Worst day with a with a good happy ending, basically. Yes, I, we would we can say that. So we can count that story. <laughs> we actually had to pause really quick, charge my camera, and then we decided to eat. We were gonna wait to eat, but did we? Did we? Eat? No, <laughs> actually, tell the really camera really and tell the people out there. How's my cooking? Because you just tried it, my. Cooking. It, I know you see my insta my Instagram all the time. You I shouldn't even make it enough. It didn't last that long for me to take a picture of it. So uh, that shit was chef. Can you tell the people that I know how to cook? She got it. It's not all looks, buddy. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good, that's that's a good, a good one. Right? That's a good one. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to the next question. The third question that I have for you, question is, do you believe in the concept of soulmates? No? I thought you were like a love guy. I'm a love, love guy. Soulmates, though? I don't know. You don't believe in the concept of little, soulmates? I think I got a little too deep. That's deeper than what I love love to be. I'm a love love guy, but you don't believe ah. in soulmates? Like really someone that is like meant for you, truly? Know, but... You've never, maybe you've never felt that kind of love? I just feel like, I don't know. Like, I personally feel like I have found my soulmate in this timeline. At this big ass age I'm in right now, I still haven't even found my own soul and let, 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 let someone else in. And then give that stuff a chance to find myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. So to even offer that to somebody else that I don't even know, like myself yet, still, I'm still finding that shit. Yeah. You're letting people in. I can't get that vulnerable. So you haven't found a soulmate yet, but do you believe that there's someone out there that is just like meant for you? Let's put it that way. If she was. I probably met her a long time ago and blew it. <laughs> you know, and drop the ball I on didn't that drop one. Drop the one on that one. I promise you. <laughs> That's I believe in the concept of soulmates. I do feel like I have found my soulmate. I just don't think that we maybe are meant to be. That's a hard day. That's, that's dark. <laughs> that's really dark. Yeah. Or maybe like not Shit. right now. Somebody that I'm supposed to be with, like you're really meant for me. Like you were built 
for me. And it's just bad timing. Maybe it's yeah. just bad timing. It might be bad timing. I, I think that's what it is, bad timing. That's the worst, dude. But then again, maybe I may meet someone else and say, you know what, that wasn't my soulmate. That's so. that's why I don't believe in the whole soulmate shit because I'm in selling dreams. I might look keep telling you I love you. Yes. <laughs> no, no, that's, that, that's like saying I love you for the night and with a little pizzazz on it. Well, I would say I do believe that there is someone out there that is truly meant for you. Whether or not you last, I guess it's, I'm not too sure. I, I don't I'm, know I'm if really... it means that you last with your soulmate. Does that, is that what the definition of soulmate that, that's is? Where it gets, that's, where, that's where that blur line starts yeah, at, like, you feel me? Does that mean that we're gonna be forever? I'm not too sure, because, okay. That's why I can't do that, man. Okay, so. I hate your females, man. <laughs> what are some things that a guy <laughs> will <you> do? <laughs> Well, we hate you guys too. What are some <laughs> things that a guy will do if he's if if a girl is a side chick and not a main chick? What was that? So what are what are some things that a guy would do to a woman if she's a side chick and not a main chick? Oh, I will always make the side chick feel like she's a main chick. Always. What? That That's is a, such a side chick. You always gotta make them feel like they're number one. Let, let alone they, I, they, they're coming off the bench. What? The fact you gotta make them feel like they're 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 a starting five, if that. You can't make them feel like a bench player. No, they go. They're, they're gonna try to be someone else's point guard. This is why I feel like women and men are so different because, like, you guys BS your way through it, and we are wrong. You say we're worse, but I I tell dudes what it's it is. Coming out right now. This is why up. we're doing this. We, we, yeah, we BS I, our way through everything. I tell dudes. <laughs> Straight up, uh, that you a side dude. Like, we know what it oh, is. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, facts. I feel with that. Don't sell me no drink. I don't, I don't, don't sell me no you, drink. I ain't cooking for you. Uh, you ain't gonna be sleeping at my house. They ain't, like, get, they you ain't, ain't get this food, right? Well, they you're my friend, salad, right? so it's different. But if you were a dude that I'm like, it's just a side dude, like, you ain't eating my food. I'm like, still, I'm still here you taking here. me out <laughs> to eat. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's very different. I feel like for me as a woman, like, I let it be known straight up that you're not that dude in my life. Girl, you better make me feel like I am number one. And I guarantee you, if I still treated you like shit, but I was letting you hit. I'm not going nowhere. Exactly. I'm not going nowhere. So. <laughs> not to even get dark about it. It's time where like I stuck around because I thought like I might be replaced. It made me want to step my shit up. Like, mm, <laughs> like damn. Okay. Shorty, Shorty fine. She can replace the dog shit out of me, bro. So what do you, like, right. uh, give me some examples of what a guy would do if you were side, if she a side chick. Like, like what I would do for her? And not, if she's like, she's never seen a light of day. Like, if she's a side chick, <laughs> you like, bring her outside. Cameras out here, you crazy stuff. So. Ah, yep, yep. Yeah, it's uh, always in the crib. The shade, yeah. Always in the I, crib. I don't think that girl even know where the sun is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely like how. That's that's a good perspective because I feel like that too. Like. I could know, know, yeah, like you know like we not be we we not outside, like we're not doing things outside. We we always There's nothing great. worse than a chick Late that you never understand that she's a side chick. Just accept it and it'll make it a lot, a lot easier for you. Exactly. I think you're like yeah. it's all easier. You know what I mean? It gave you happy. Now you, I don't want no barking in my head. I think that's an head. adult mutually understanding relationship that works perfectly. Stay real fine. kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? It works perfectly fine. Trust me, I know. And yeah, it's you, great. Yeah, but we both mutual understanding. Like, we had, we had this conversation earlier. I said, y'all got smarter. Like, you're not stupid. Like, you're not dumb. You're not playing dumb We no as more. women are playing the game better than men these days. You guys are the dudes, reality. Dudes. All right, you guys. So it is the next day, and I just finished getting ready, taking a shower. As you can see, my hair is super wet. But I just wanted to close out this video because we never did an outro. We actually continued filming and the video is long and so juicy that we just decided to do it into two parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one and stay tuned for part two because it is super spicy. So I know you guys are going to enjoy it. This was really fun to film with a good friend of mine who I felt like, hey, women want to know what guys are thinking and guys want to know what women are thinking. So let's chop it up. Let's talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.